first of all, Gevgeny, you're very welcome in Greece. Thank you. You are an expert in the Internet of Things. So it's a revolution, it's a term, or uh, it's something that the people must pay attention to that. So I'm asking you, what is Internet of Things? In simple words, I would explain that Internet of Things means that nowadays not only people use Internet, but also things like cars, industrial equipment, home appliances can communicate between themselves and with us humans using uh, over the Internet. And uh, such communication allows to make any process faster, easier and more efficient. Okay, this is Internet of Things in general, but we are in hydroponics, we are in horticulture. Specifically, Internet of Things for horticulture, what is your explanation? In horticulture, so the things that can communicate with you are the greenhouse, equipment in your greenhouse and your crops. So you can get, with help of sensors, you can get information about climate inside your greenhouse, about performance of uh, the equipment in greenhouse, like heating system, ventilation, uh, lights, and fert uh, irrigation, fertigation, and so on. And uh, you can also track performance of your crops by uh, monitoring uh, conditions of the root zone, for example, uh, conditions of the leaves and fruits, weighing the biomass gain, measuring temperature of the leaves and fruits, uh, transpiration, uh, water in uptake, and so on. So you, you describe uh, more or less more than uh, 15, let's say, sensors. That means it's uh, quite revolutionary. But uh, in order to understand a little bit, can you describe, for example, one sensor that is related to hydroponics? For hydroponics, I believe the most important sensor is uh, RNA substrate sensor. We have a few types of this. And uh, with this kind of sensor, you can measure three parameters, which are the most important, I believe, uh, on plant level in the substrate. So it is temperature in substrate, amount of water in the substrate, and uh, electric conductivity of this water, which gives you an indication of amount of fertilizers. And uh, by monitoring these parameters, you can adjust your irrigation uh, schedules, you can adjust the amount of water you give to your plants, amount of uh, fertilizers, and you can optimize it and make it precise. And uh, by this precise irrigation, you can save water, you can save uh, fertilizers, you can uh, give optimal uh, conditions to the plant so it will improve yields. And you also save the environment. And uh, all these um, are benefits that you can get with only one sensor. Perfect. It sounds quite interesting to all of us. My question is, you said something about RNA ecosystem. So it's not about just only the sensors. It, it is not just only about the connection. It is about real-time connectivity through the people when they get the same amount of information real time. So, could you please explain a little bit uh, us about the RNA philosophy behind this? Yeah, so the, uh, our philosophy is that we make a complete system, complete infrastructure for, uh, for uh, data collection. So, in terms of uh, hardware, it consists of just two parts. It is wireless sensors, which are battery powered and uh, communicate over the radio so you don't need any to install any wires in additional wires in your greenhouse you just hang them around and the base station which you place one base station in one greenhouse and it collects information from all the sensors as a base station stores all the data in the internal memory as a backup and at the same time in real time it is sending the data to the cloud and users like growers uh, their consultants and any involved people, they can see the real-time data in uh, the cloud from any internet-enabled device like computer or smartphone. And um, they can use this information to make fast uh, uh, decisions and to adjust their growth strategies and, uh, as I mentioned, irrigation, for example. This is fantastic because real-time 24-7, I can have access, the grower can have access, the people that they are responsible can have access, so all of us will have the same picture. Exactly. Okay, perfect. 
So uh, where we can find more information about Arnet? So you can take a look at our website, which is arnet.com. And uh, in Greece, our partner is a uh, company IQ Crops, which also provides consultancy and can help growers interpret the data measured and collected by RNET uh, system. I have one last question. You had your first, let's say, contact and experience with the Greek, let's say, growers in Crete. What are the first impressions we, you had? So, uh, yeah, I really liked this uh, presentation and meeting with the growers uh, and uh, the fact that the growers were so interested and in asking so many questions. Uh, it is um, quite unusual because the growers are no normally quite conservative and not so much interested in new technologies. And uh, I, I'm really happy that uh, people here are interested in our products and hopefully they will um, get a lot of benefits when they will start using it. Thank you very much. I hope having you very often. Sure, yeah. thank you.